Hello, my name is Sam Nelson and I'm a developer for Opalytics. Today, today I'm going to show you how to run an Opal model using TicTac, an open source data library for Python. In this video I've already downloaded Opal and now I'm going to download and install TicTac and connect it to Opal. So if I open up the command line I can just type in pip install TicTac because I already have Python installed and it will grab the latest version of TicTac from PyPy and install it to my computer. The next step is to make sure you're in the Opal installation directory where I am at and then run this one-time post-installation TicTat setup script, uh, which connects TicTat to Opal. And then we're ready to go. Uh, so if I open up this oil blend example, which is one of TicTat's uh, Opal examples, which we took from the IBM Opal documentation, uh, this example was originally not written with TicTat in mind, so it's a good example of how easy it is to turn uh, make an Opal model compatible with TicTat. So I'm going to show you the modified uh, .mod file, which is right here. Uh, if you look, you can see this include tic.tat oil blend .mod line, and down here the include tic.tat oil blend output .mod line. Uh, these are used to connect to the auto-generated files that tic.tat creates defining the input and output schemas, and so you need to include those lines. There's also this write output to file line, down here that you need to add, which tells uh, Opal to put the solution in a format that TicTac can read. Uh, other than that, uh, this uh, core mathematics section is exactly the same as what you see here, unaltered. Uh, and then, in addition to the .mod file, you need to write a simple .py file, which is mostly boilerplate. Uh, the important parts are these input schema and solution schema lines, which define the input and output tables. Uh, and then TicTac uses a robust data checking system using these dot set data type and dot add data row predicate commands, which you can use to ensure that bad data never makes it to Opal and fails right away. Uh, other than that, the only thing of note are these dot Opal prepend lines. Uh, which are used to avoid table name collisions in Opal because the input schema and the solution schema both contain a table named parameters. Uh, and you can see how you have to work around that in the .mod file. Uh, it, right here it's referenced as imp parameters. Um, and so now I'm going to show you how to actually run this file from the command line. So if I open up the command line we can go to the directory that contains uh, these files by going here. Uh, and you can see there's only three files here right now. And I'm going to run the mod file using tic.tat with this command, python oilblend.py, and then I'm going to tell it to use the oilblend sample data dot json is the input data and when we're all done we're going to put it in a spreadsheet called oil solution xlsx so it looks like it ran correctly and if we look here again there's a lot of uh, new files that opal uh, tick that generated for use with opal but right now we're going to look at the solution and make sure it looks correct so if you look here we have the three tables advertising parameters blending and in the parameters, the total profit is listed as 287750, which, if we go over here to the documentation for the original uh, model, it says the final solution is 287750. Those are the same, so it's solved correctly. Uh, but uh, now to look at these intermediate files a little bit. Uh, when TicTat runs, it generates all the files that are necessary to run uh, the model using Opal without using TicTat at all. So it has these auto-generated.mod files, and then the data is put in this temp.dat file, uh, which is just the data formatted so Opal can read it. Uh, and you can use these to just ignore TicTat. I'll run it through Opal really quick uh, to show that. So if I go Opal run uh, oil blend.mod oil and then temp.dat, you can see it runs correctly, 287750. The strength of this is that if your solution does not run, if it crashes for some reason and you can't figure out why, you can use TicTat to generate the intermediate files, uh, make sure those files look correct, 
and then jump into your Opal IDE and debug uh, using that uh, or however else you see fit.